Hey everyone, it's Samantha with a Wealthy Hairstylist YouTube channel. Welcome back again. Uh, today's topic is going over rental rates. Like how do you figure out your chair rental rate for your salon? And I'm gonna kind of review with you um, some tips and tricks and things that I kind of learned along the way to help establish a rental rate for my salon. So whether you own a big salon that has 20 plus chairs or you have a small boutique salon that has, I don't know, five to seven chairs, like it's, it's good to know and to understand why you are charging what you're charging. So I wanted to review with you, um, obviously I, I think it's best to do your research 100%. Figure out the local salons in your area and what their rental rate is. And even compare it to all of like the studio suites, like the Salon Republics and the Sola salons. I know there's so many different boutique variations out there. It's good to do your research and understand like what is being offered with these rental rates. Um, and that will also help you establish your rental rate and maybe things that should be included with renting a chair within your salon. So I figure let's just kind of jump right into it. Um, so I feel it's best to kind of obviously establish like a minimum rental rate. And so when I figure, when I say minimum, what is it gonna cost you minimally to run your business. So obviously you have your overhead costs, so your lease to keep the salon doors open, like what you have to pay as a salon owner for your lease. So you have your lease, obviously you have your like electricity, your water, things like that that help keep the business running. It's kind of separate. So first things first, I with establishing a minimum amount, I like to take whatever the lease is, the lease amount, and divide it by how many stations you have. So we'll kind of start with there. So for example, I'm a little handy dandy calculator. So let's say your lease amount is $3,700 a month for let's say a nine chair salon. So if you are a salon owner, and whether you're paying rent or not, you wanna figure, and you're working, let's say you're a salon owner that works at the salon, because there are many salon owners that it's just pure investment and they don't work in the salon, so their calculations will be a little different. But if you're a salon owner and you want to figure out how your future renters are basically helping to cover all the costs of the salon. So let's say your rent is $3,700 a month and you have nine chairs. Um, but you are working in one of the chairs. So I would divide it by eight. So instead of by nine, you could divide it by nine. So let's 3,700 divided by nine. So equals $411 per chair. But there's four weeks to a year. So 411 divided by four equals $102.78 per chair a week. So that is like minimum, right? Minimum per chair per week, 102. So let's say it's $3,700 and we're gonna divide it by eight because the salon owner wants their chair covered. So that's $462, divide that by four. So you're looking at $115 per week. And that's minimum, minimum expenses. To at, That's if all the chairs are filled. So this is assuming you have renters in all the chairs. So $115 per week. I know a lot, a lot of salons, they either pay weekly, pay every two weeks. A lot of that depends on the salon owner. Um, I charge weekly rent for my salon, but the 115 obviously just covers the lease expense. So as a salon owner, you need to figure out also what the average is for your other expenses. And the best way to do that is by calculating and 
I personally keep a spreadsheet of all our business expenses. So of our electricity, our water, um, internet, you know, anything that you use that helps keep those doors open, laundry, whether you use a towel service. So I like to add that all up and you can figure out the average amount that you probably pay per month for that. So for an average amount, you could obviously add like the electricity bill for the last three months and divide it by three and that will give you your average amount. So you could add those expenses if you would like into the cost, right? Because the renter is gonna be using electricity, they're gonna be using water, they're gonna be using towels, things like that. So you could add those expenses in to this calculation. So whatever that average is, you would divide that, like say your average expense for water, electricity, um, your towel service for a nine chair salon, you're looking at two, three, let's say it's like, I don't know, you're paying like six, $600 a month for that. So you do the 600 divided by eight stations. So that's $75 per station, okay? So the $75 divided by four, because it's four weeks in a month. So you're looking at 1875 per week, tacked on to that $115 plus 75. So you're looking at 190 for a chair minimum. So I feel it's good to understand the finances that come with running a business and the expenses as an owner as to what it takes to actually run a business and to understand why you are charging what you are charging to rent a chair within your salon. So you have to do your research. You need to understand your numbers. Um, cause if your expenses are, cause some place, some rent is so much higher. It all depends on your location. Like if your rent is $10,000 a month and you have nine shares versus the $3,500 a month. So nine, but we're going to make it eight because let's say the salon owner is working divided by eight. So that's 1250 a chair, um, divided by four. So you're looking at 312, $312 and 50 cents a week for a chair rental for a $10,000 leased monthly salon. So, and that's for nine shares. So that's, it's good to understand your numbers and that's like kind of the easiest way to figure out what is the minimum, like the least amount, like to what you can charge. I'm not saying this would be amount, this is like the starting. This has to be the starting amount because as a salon owner, you're gonna occur all these other expenses that are gonna come along with like back bar, paying front desk, um, like commission out for products, investing in commission retail is expensive. Um, and obviously all the salon equipment and the property of the salon, maintaining the premises of your environment. There are all these things that kind of will add up being a salon owner. And these are just a few to name out of the many and many and many things to own a salon. Um, but I feel this is the easiest way to kind of help determine a rental rate for a chair within your salon. And, and you as a salon owner can determine if that's like a full-time, a part-time, and what does that look like for you? But I feel it's understanding the numbers to get to a starting place. So if you have any questions on how to figure out what your salon rental rate can be, uh, send me a message, comment below. Um, let me know what your numbers are and I'd be more than happy to help you out. So I hope this was easy for you to understand and I hope you learn some new tip, tri uh, tips and tricks <laughs> along the way. And thanks again for following along and I'll talk to you guys soon.